Spiritus Equine in Napa, California, and I'm here to help you understand the basics of equine diarrhea. First, we have to understand the characteristics of normal equine poop. Shaped fecal balls with no apparent parasites or stemmy feed, no large particles or debris such as sand or stones visible. Some of the characteristics of abnormal stool might include just loose stool, fecal balls that have excess water before or after defecation, cow pie and watery diarrhea, or even projectile diarrhea. One of the indications that your horse may be having abnormal stool is actually the remnant of fecal matter or fecal fluid that's dried on the horse's rump. Some of the consequences of equine diarrhea include malabsorption, fluid and electrolyte imbalances, dull or dry hair coat, immune disorders, colic type symptoms, or weight loss. There's a long list of potential causes of equine diarrhea, and a lot is determined by whether it's acute, meaning that it just happened, or that it's been going on for a while. So we could actually define equine diarrhea by an excess of water or fluid in the horse's stool, and that might be created by an imbalance in the bacterial population, the microbes, or a problem with the absorption across the intestinal lining. Equine diarrhea is generally considered to be a colonic or hindgut problem. Some of the things that need to be considered are dietary changes. Horses can develop sensitivities to different kinds of feeds or hays. In particular, they may have diarrhea with bad quality feed. General anti-inflammatories such as bute and even banamine may cause ulceration in the hindgut or contribute to an imbalance in the population of the gut, as well as antibiotics. Antibiotics have the potential to kill off not only the bad bacteria, but also the good ones. And the balance of the flora in the horse's gut is essential for maintaining normal stool. Some of the other important causes of equine diarrhea include sand, internal parasites, and also stress, whether that's moving to a new location, having new neighbors, or even the stress of training and competition. Other causes of equine diarrhea include lush green pasture, especially in the springtime, equine colitis, which is an inflammatory condition in the colon, and geriatric horses who may have an age-related malabsorption. The most important thing is an extensive history, your horse's age, breed, any recent changes in location, and whether or not there's any horses on the farm that also share the same symptoms. Has the hay been changed? Have you purchased any new grain? Or has the patient been on any medications or any antibiotics recently? Once this history has been gathered, simple tests can be initiated. Baseline blood work and a fecal test. This includes doing a fecal ova count to look for any parasite eggs that might be in your horse's stool. But just because a test comes back negative doesn't mean that your horse is completely free of parasites. Intestinal parasites such as small encysted strongyles may be present and cause diarrhea without showing up on a test. One of the other simple tests that can be performed is a sand swirl test. Some of your horse's fecal balls can be placed into a jar or into a glove, mixed with water, and then allowed to settle. Your veterinarian can look to see if there's any sand or particulate matter left on the bottom of the jar or in the bottom of the glove. Some of the other diagnostic tests that can be performed include intestinal absorption tests, and also bacterial cultures to look for overgrowth of bacteria such as salmonella. In some cases, a rectal biopsy may be necessary. This can be done fairly easily by your veterinarian, and it's used to determine whether there's such diseases like cancer or granulomatous disease that may actually prevent absorption of fluid or water across the lining of the colon. Mm -hmm.